At CES, it's easy to be dazzled by a mesmerizing LED TV panel maze, cool robots, and even electric vehicles. But sometimes, the coolest tech is actually something that you'll never actually see. It's taken a few years, but the fingerprint sensor has now become a standard for high-end smartphones, and we've even seen it creep into cheaper smartphones as well. But with the move to 18 by 9 aspect ratio displays, manufacturers have been forced to move those sensors from the front of the phone to the back. Personally, I'm fine with the fingerprint sensors on the back, but there are still a lot of people who would like them on the front. So to give the manufacturers that option while still allowing them to keep those fancy new displays, Synaptics has come up with a new sensor which allows them to mount it below the display itself. If you look close enough, you can make out the faint silhouette of the sensor which is mounted at a 45 degree angle, but it's completely invisible when the display is turned on. The setup process is no different than before. Once your fingerprints are registered within the system, press on the display on the indicated area. Since this is an optical sensor, you do need to press a little bit harder on the screen to make sure that enough of your fingerprint makes contact with the glass. The sensor actually uses the light from the display to illuminate your fingerprint and then scans in between the individual pixels on the display. The implementation I tested worked perfectly fine considering that the phone itself won't go on sale for another couple months. The only complaint I have is that it was slightly slower than what I've been used to on flagship devices. That being said, the speed could have a lot to do with the pre-production software on the phone itself, or the fact that the hardware could be tweaked a little bit before the phone goes into full production. With these new sensors from Synaptics already rolling off production lines, I expect we'll see quite a few new flagship smartphones announced this year with this new tech. The sensors themselves will be invisible to consumers, but their effect on smartphone design will have a lasting impact for years to come. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.